Do Jehovah's Witnesses have their own Bible? Jehovah's Witnesses have used many different translations in their study of the Bible. In languages where it is available, though, we especially appreciate the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures for its use of God's name, for its accuracy, and for its clarity. Use of God's name Some Bible publishers have failed to give credit where credit is due. For example, one Bible translation lists the names of over 70 people who in some way contributed to its production. Yet, this same Bible omits the name of the author, Jehovah God, altogether. In contrast, the New World Translation restores the divine name in the thousands of places where it existed in the original text, while the committee that produced the translation remains anonymous. Accuracy Not all translations accurately convey the Bible's original message. One translation, for instance, renders Matthew 7.13 in this way, Go in through the narrow gate, because the gate to hell is wide and the road that leads to it is easy. However, the original text used the term destruction, not hell. Perhaps the translators inserted the word hell because they believed that the wicked would be tormented forever in hellfire. But that idea is not supported by the Bible. Hence, the New World Translation reads accurately, Go in through the narrow gate, because broad is the gate and spacious is the road leading off into destruction. Clarity A good translation should be not only accurate, but also clear, easy to understand. Consider an example. At Romans 12.11, the Christian Apostle Paul used an expression that literally means to the spirit boiling. Since that expression makes little sense in modern English, the New World Translation renders the verse in a way that is easier to understand. It says that Christians should be aglow with the Spirit. In addition to its use of God's name, accuracy, and clarity, the New World Translation has another distinction. It is distributed without charge. As a result, millions are able to read the Bible in their mother tongue, even those who otherwise could not afford to own a Bible.